Good morning. Thank you for joining us. If you would please read Psalm 99 responsively with me. The Lord is king. Let the nations tremble. He sits on his throne between the cherubim. Let the whole earth quake. The Lord sits in majesty in Jerusalem, exalted above all nations. Let them praise your great and awesome name. Your name is holy. Mighty King, lover of justice, you have established fairness. You have acted with justice and righteousness throughout Israel. Exalt the Lord our God. Bow low before his feet, for he is holy. Moses and Aaron were among his priests. Samuel also called on his name. They cried to the Lord for help, and he answered them. He spoke to Israel from the pillar of cloud, and they followed the laws and decrees he gave them. O Lord our God, you answered them. You were a forgiving God to them, but you punished them when they went wrong. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain in Jerusalem, for the Lord our God is holy. Please join with me in our prayer of the day. Father in heaven, as we continue our journey through the season of Lent, remind us that we are nothing without you. Draw us closer to you as we ponder your great love shown to us through the suffering of Jesus. Amen. Our first reading today comes from Deuteronomy chapter 34, verses 1 through 12. Then Moses went up to Mount Nebo from the plains of Moab and climbed Pisgah Peak, which is across from Jericho. And the Lord showed him the whole land, from Gilead as far as Dan, all the land of Nephtali, and the land of Ephraim and Manasseh, all the land of Judah, extending to the Mediterranean Sea, the Negev, the Jordan Valley with Jericho, the city of Palms, so far as Zoar. Then the Lord said to Moses, this is the land I promised on oath to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, when I said, I will give it to your descendants. I have now allowed you to see it with your own eyes, but you will not enter the land. So Moses, the servant of the Lord, died there in the land of Moab, just as the Lord had said. The Lord buried him in the valley near Bethor in Moab, but to this day no one knows the exact place. Moses was 120 years old when he died, yet his eyesight was clear, and he was as strong as ever. The people of Israel mourned for Moses on the plains of Moab for 30 days, until the customary period of mourning was over. Now Joshua, son of Nun, was full of the spirit of wisdom, for Moses had laid his hands on him. So the people of Israel obeyed him, doing just as the Lord had commanded Moses. 
There has never been another prophet in Israel like Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face. The Lord sent him to perform all the miraculous signs and wonders in the land of Egypt against Pharaoh, and all his servants, and his entire land. With mighty power, Moses performed terrifying acts in the sight of all Israel. Word of God, Word of Life. Our second reading today comes from Hebrews, chapter 3, verses 1 through 6. And so, dear brothers and sisters who belong to God and are partners with those called to heaven, think carefully about this Jesus whom we declare to be God's messenger and high priest. For he was faithful to God, who appointed him, just as Moses served faithfully when he was entrusted with God's entire house. But Jesus deserves far more glory than Moses, just as a person who builds a house deserves more praise than the house itself. For every house has a builder, but the one who built everything is God. Moses was certainly faithful in God's house as a servant. His work was an illustration of the truths God would reveal later. But Christ, as the Son, is in charge of God's entire house, and we are God's house, if we keep our courage and remain confident in our hope in Christ. Word of God, Word of Life.
Let us pray. Father, keep us ever mindful of the needs of others. Use our lives to serve people with our time, talent, and finances. Give us boldness to speak openly and to share with others the deep peace that comes to the followers of Jesus. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for our confirmation children today as they join with the children at St. Mark's. Reveal them your love and presence and bless their time with these other Christian children. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for our church as we continue to search for a new minister. Keep Word of Life focused on you in all we do. Make our church a place that brings glory to you and reaches out to others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for those who do not have their basics needs met. We lift up the well, the tree house, and the Lord's cupboard, and the mission work of all the area churches that seek to help others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for those who are sick in mind, body, or emotions. We pray for their healing, and we pray that you give them strength and peace on their journey to wellness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As we leave this morning, strengthen our faith with your Holy Spirit. Use our lives to share the good news of your love to all people. Amen. Please join with me as we pray our closing prayer. Lord, we pray that our time here will bless and guide us in the week to come. Plant your word deep in our hearts so that it will be a path before us, leading us to walk in your way so that we are a blessing to those around us. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen.